Welcome back, friends. Today we have a question from Brent Dugmore on YouTube. He says, hey, Chewy, man, can you do some stuff from the S Mountain Spider Guard? Also, maybe some attacks from the bottom position? Thank you. All of your videos are awesome. So Brent, I'm gonna do some, you, so you, you said Spider Guard, S Mount, and bottom position. So two out of those three is a bottom position. So we're gonna go for some Spider Guard today. So I'm gonna show you some Spider Guard stuff. I'm not gonna to touch S Mount. We'll keep it concise and go with the bottom position. So I'll, I'll show you two sweeps that'll work together as a combo. Um, I think they're really useful. They're really good sweeps for people that are sort of getting into that, uh, that point where they're trying to open up their guard a little bit. They're going from the closed guard and opening up to the open guard. So I hope this is useful to you, Brent, and anybody else is watching. As always, this is my lovely, exquisitely handsome, beautiful assistant, Mr. Adam Wilson. Trust catch. <laughs> All right, guys, so hopefully Adam will be a better assistant than he was at you know, catching my phone before it fell to its peril. Um, from here, we're gonna start in guard. Oh, don't be so sensitive, Adam. So from here, we're gonna start with our basic guard opening, okay? So again, um, there's a lot of different ways to open up to the spider guard, but we're gonna start from a full guard and we'll go very basic here. A lot of times, you know, if you feel comfortable, you can go two sleeves or you can go to collar and sleeve and then switch off to the second sleeve. But we'll just start with two sleeves right now. Thumb and four fingers, good grips right here. Open up, hip escape. I like to slide that knee in, foot on the hip, slide the knee in, foot in the hip, and then open up here and we have that tension, okay? So again, one of the big things with your play that spider guard, Brent, is we wanna have tension on the grips the whole time. So as he pulls around and moves, I stay with him. If there's a lot of like looseness here on the, on the grips, if he starts to move stuff around, I lose it, okay? Now we're gonna do what, I, I call it the spider scissor sweep. There may be other uh, names for it, but it mimics the same kind of movement with the, the scissor sweep, except for this one's gonna be the spider guard. Later, fellas. We're gonna be right here for a second. Okay, cool, you do some cardio. Yes, sir. So from here, we're gonna open. I'm gonna shift my uh, weight onto my hip here, and then I'm gonna get onto my side. This way I can get a nice full extension. Now this foot is gonna go from the hip to the bend of the arm, and I'm gonna lock it out, and at the same time, this arm is gonna come towards me, okay? Now from here, what I'm gonna do is I wanna bring him up and over. So I'm gonna lock this leg out. And again, very important, if I don't really lock it out, it's very easy for him to move his foot around, his arm around the foot. But when I get that lock, oh, here. Now as he moves it, stays with him. Now this foot goes on the outside. I'm gonna check my time just like a, the, um, spy, the scissor sweep and I'm gonna bring him up and over. Now when you finish this sweep, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do. I mean, you can go right into a triangle if you wanted to, but for a basic you know, mount position, we're just gonna take the foot off, and I'm gonna pull and slide myself up. I like to hang on to the sleeves if possible, just to take the arms away from the person so he can't set up his good frames. Okay, let's look at that again, and then I'll show you the combo. Sleeves open, shift, bang, right into position, okay? Now from here, we're gonna go ahead, shift our weight to the side, put our foot in the bicep, and we're gonna lock that sucker out. At the same time, pulling this arm in. When you do this, the key is we don't want this hand to be able to like post out, okay? So that's why I'm pulling this arm towards me. Now here, we lock, foot on the outside. I'm pulling him up. Not trying to kick him over, but locking the leg out and pulling him up. Sliding into position. And again, I have these arms already isolated, ready to attack. Now that's a, a basic spider, spider guard sweep. That's probably the most basic one, and it's easy to get into triangles and everything else. Now, what really works well with this is when he begins to defend it, we're gonna use a thread sweep. Um, I might have both of these sweeps already on the channel, so if you have some more questions, Brent, feel free to throw them out for me. So we open up, let's say that I begin to go into this position here, and let's say that maybe he knows I'm gonna go this way, so he begins to stand up to his foot. Very common kind of thing. And you might see this any, sometimes too. Go back to your knees for me, Adam. He may just stand up to a common base right here. Boom, just because he wants to, okay? So we're gonna be here though, so he defends. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna switch off to a lasso. Um, so it's not quite the spider guard, but it goes really well with this. So from here, I'm gonna take the foot and instead of being the bicep here, I'm gonna kick it through, pull the sleeve all the way here, and then we can go to the spider lasso completely if we want to. But with this foot up, I wanna catch that very quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from here, kick through, switch, that leg under, okay? Now, super important is I'm pulling the sleeve down deep. What that happens is this creates a dip in the shoulder. If I don't do this, notice this, he can sit up straight. That's not good for me. When you want a good sweep, you wanna create some sort of tilt in the upper body. Now, from here, my foot's latched up, so it's flexed up here to catch, and then to finish, we bring 
our head closer to his, and it's a simple pull, kick, and we come up. When you come up with this one, there's lots of different ways you can do it. Really important is the whole, I, the way that I look at it. Some guys like to just like roll up into it like a back roll. I like to control this arm, okay? And I'll show you why in a second. So I'll come up right here, and if I want to, I can use it to attack, or once I come up, I'm good. When I know the person wants to turn towards me, it's important to control the same side shoulder, because check this out. If Adam wants to turn towards me, turn towards me, it's hard to do that with this shoulder being lifted, right, and being controlled. Whereas if I was to control this one, but not this one, if he turned, it's easy for him to turn towards me, understand? So from here, that's why like, if I'm cut, doing like a cut through, I'll really pull that sleeve up. And the same thing's true with this sweep. When I'm coming up, right here, I like to hang on to this sleeve. So if he tries to come up into me, super difficult because the shoulder's being pinned, and then I can come up into a slicer, or I can just let go of it at the end and get to my side control. So let's look at that again, and then you can go home and try this, Brent. Well, I don't know why you tried at home, you probably tried at the gym. So from here, we're gonna go here, into position. He steps up to combat base. We're gonna take the foot around, kick it, slide it under, okay? Notice the transition here. Kick it through, pass it right under, and then adjust. My back's gonna be flat, and I'm gonna scoot, 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 and then to finish, we're gonna pull him in, this arm goes right over top, kick, hold the shoulder, you can hang onto the arm if you want to, whatever you want to do, come up, boom, right into position. One, one other thing is, if for some reason, if we went here and he stepped up to his right foot, then basically you would just switch off here and go there, okay? Basically, whenever you do that thread sweep, it's always opposite from your threading over top of the arm onto the leg. All right, Brent, so I hope that's useful to you, brother. So again, there is no S-mount in that um, video for you, but I'll do some S-mount later on. But those are two uh, sort of spider guard type sweeps. The first one is absolutely a spider guard. The other one's more of a lasso type position, but they work really well. And I think, you know, the spider guard, Adam plays a lot of spider guard, a lot of lasso guard, and those things work really well together, and um, they're so closely related. I mean, it's essentially just a switch there with the foot. So um, useful sweeps to you. Maybe that'll help you out with your open guard. Starting to ramble on, starting to talk. There's a guy getting ready for a fight, so he's out there doing some cardio. You might hear him in the background. He's on an Airdyne bike. We have those at this gym for cardio's sake. You gotta do a little extra cardio sometimes when you have fights, because it's exhausting. Same thing for competitions. Sometimes when you do competitions, Adam, where where are you out? So you gotta do some cardio on the bike. He's good, isn't he? I'm just trying to mess with him and he's just, he's staring stone cold at this thing. <laughs> yeah, I got the camera guy, but I can't get him, he's stone cold. You know what you should have been, Adam? You know what you should have been? You should have been like one of those guards that like guard the, like the, the castle over in, uh, in Britain where they, where they try to mess with them and try to get them into to their faces to like mess up. But you don't do that either, you're stone cold. Look at him, doesn't even blink. His eyes are burning, but he's not blinking because he's on the camera. And as soon as this thing is over, he's going to be like, oh my God, my eyes are burning. He always does this. He always tries to be so tough. Yeah, there we go. I got him. <laughs> <laughs>